we have two functions, f of x and g of x. We want to state the domain and range of each. We want to sketch the graph of each composite function and state the domain and range of each composite function. So I'm going to underline f of x in blue and g of x in green so I can color code things here. For f of x, the domain, it's a line, so it's everything. The range is everything as well. For g of x, any non-permissible values? No, the domain is everything. The range, you're going to have to use your transformations. It'd be a parabola that's flipped down and then shifted up four. So your range is less than or equal to four. Right? Are we OK with that graph shifted up four? Parabola pointing down for g of x. Now, to sketch the graph of the composition function and to find the domain and the range, what's going to be the easiest way to do that is if you can find the explicit equation. So if we can combine these two together and get the new equation, that new equation is going to help us graph it, and once it's graphed, it's going to be easy for us to find the domain and range. So looking at that, we have to use our skills from this morning. We want to find the equation for f of g of x. And working from the inside first, it says you're going to put x into the function of g. What would you get if you did that? Well, if I, g, Whatever you put in is 4 minus whatever you put in squared. So if I put in an x, it's going to be 4 minus x squared. And so now we're putting a 4 minus x squared into the function of f. What does the function of f do? It says whatever you put in, add 1. So if I put in this, I need to add 1 to it. And simplifying that equation, will give me negative x squared plus 5. Can you graph that? Because that's what f of g of x is equal to. We're supposed to graph that and state its domain. Can you use your transformations to graph that? Yes. It's a parabola that has been moved up five and reflected down, so it looks like that. Couple of points. When you graph something and you don't have the grid provided, you always need to have at least two points labeled, especially for a parabola. The vertex is a nice one. And then I've labeled one other point. And so now that we have that, can we say what the domain was? Domain is going to be everything. Does that match up with our original two functions? Because they still have an overlap. Yes. yes. And when we look at a range, the range doesn't depend on the original ones. Okay, so the range of your new function is really dependent on what your domain was of your original function and how the two functions interact. Okay. Right? So I want you to try to get the explicit equation for the second one. Check with your neighbor once you're done to see if you have the same answer. f of f of x. So what does f of f of x mean? Well, we plug in x into the function f, and that says whatever you plug in, because f of x 
is equal to x plus 1, that means whatever you plug in, you add 1 to it. So if I plug in an x, I will get x plus 1. And now, if I plug in an x plus 1, I will get an x plus 1 plus 1. So our explicit equation for f of f of x is x plus 2. And if you drew that, y-intercept of 2, a slope of 1, the domain and range will be all real numbers for both the domain and the range. So our questions for example 1 are just question number 4. That is what happened. Interesting.